What's up guys, welcome to the vlog. So today I'm taking you on a tour, a day in the life with me at Hustle Kitchen. Got a couple of meetings to go to and I'll update you with a couple of things along the way. Let's do this. To mine, one of our clients, crypto mining machines. Let's go check out what Ahmed's up to. Founder at Domain, gonna tell us a bit about his crypto mining machines. Yes. Money printing machines, he calls them. Whoever missed the Sales Nation event, let me give you a quick update. It was the first meetup that we had, and it was absolutely amazing. It was as if the universe brought all these guys into the same room where they actually connected together. Some people worked together, some people got inspired by each other, and this is a much needed community that was needed in Bahrain. If you're one of those guys, you know, who just likes to go, um, you know, chill out on the weekend, watch your Netflix or whatever, then obviously that's not sort of community for you. But what was really missing here was that business, hustling, sales, hungry people type community where, you know, bringing together everyone to just improve each other and make each other better. It's like the new machine, because already you've got the price of the new machine, new machines are 3,000. Yeah. Right? That, they, now he knows the new, put whatever you want as your price as the user. Right? So we don't need to go into this complicated algorithm just to get the price much updated easier. daily, right? You made it much more simple. Okay. These are the machines. Yeah. We're gonna sell one to save right now. Yeah, I'm fine. Sell one to him, so let's see if, I, let's see if our pitch works on it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, second stop of the day. We're here at Arados Printing. All we want to do today is make a quick video for Arados to sell their printing supply. The owner actually has to be a good friend and a Sales Nation community member. That's why you guys should join the nation. You want to get more promo? You want to get more business? Join the nation. By the way, where's the, the printing? You print here or you're no. in a different location? You need any printing needs, whether it's bags, packaging, boxes. Hey guys, so we're switching to the iPhone since Magic Search is not with us today. So now, we are in Arad. You guys must have seen the TikTok video that he did with uh, our man Isa from Sierra Leone. So we're just gonna check out his garage and see what's going on there and give you the big update. Basically, we're having a real quick bite. Uh, just means to branch Arad. And then we're gonna head back to the garage and we're gonna check out our brother Isa and his superiors as well. And we're gonna give you a wonderful news. Yeah. We're at the bike center. We're with big man Isa. What's up, My Isa? brother, how are you? No problem. Yeah. Alright guys, so Isa now has a job at this bike center. So big up, big up to the employer that they gave him this job. But we need bikes! So guys, if you have bikes that need repair, right here. Come here. Isa wants to fix them. Come down and we want to test his skills. Exactly. So come come down here. Isa, you wanna say something to the world? Yes, I, want to I love you. Come to Bike Center. Yes. Come to Bike Center. Center. No, 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 no. no problem. <laughs> so it was supposed to be day in the life, but it's been a long week, so it's become the week in the life of a hustle kitchen. So we're at the British School right now. Gonna give a talk to the six formers, and we've got a new surprises for them as well. Okay. Got Mohammed here, as you can tell, varsity captain. <laughs> in charge of the business society, let's do this. To be honest, when I was in school. <laughs> Before I start, I just gotta say, you guys are in the luckiest position ever. You know, if I could go back in time, if there was a magical clock, I would have made a lot more use of my time while I was a student, because you're never gonna get this experience again. When I say this experience, I don't necessarily mean what you're learning in the classroom. I mean the free time that you have outside the classroom to be able to upskill yourself, your knowledge, in order to give you a head start in life. Today, the world is the most competitive place it has ever been. If you're a slacker, you ain't getting anywhere. Let me just tell you that. There's a thousand people waiting to take your position, your seat, no matter where you go in life. So you always got to think, how can I go above the trend? How can I beat everyone else and have a competitive mindset in order to actually improve yourself and your skills, which are going to come very handy later. When you finish university and you actually start working in a job, you're not gonna get this time again to be able to be like, what is my passion? And let me go learn that because that's what I wanna do. So there are two paths that obviously you guys are gonna take once you get to university. You're either gonna be partying and doing things that you shouldn't be doing, but you know, who am I to say that? Or you're gonna actually take advantage of that time and actually learn, not what necessarily what you learn in the classroom, learn what life teaches you along the way. 
I want to start a business, but I don't have money to start a business. Well, do you have time? Do you have skills? People pay for time and skills. You are the product. You are providing that service. And people would always pay for that. If you actually focused in your English class on how to write better words and create persuasion out of words, you can move mountains and you can get paid for that. So if I sold one piece of property in my life as a real estate agent, by I only pitch that one property to one guy, I met one guy and he bought it, I could say I sold one property. But then I could spin those words and say, I've got a 100% closing rate. Never lost the deal ever. It's still true, right? I haven't lied, but I've just chosen my words carefully to make them look better, right? You want to learn how to make money on weekends? Yeah. Financial IQ is probably very, very important. But let me tell you, the most important skill you ever should learn regardless of what you do or what job you go to and that's learning how to sell whether you're selling a product or service or you're selling yourself in an interview going to university at life at work and with products he who sells best makes the most proving that high school students can destroy the adult businesses out there who've been there for years by our special branding and creativity and skills then you guys need to go back to your business society heads when they tell you and volunteer for that role because we will be starting soon and we only want the best of the best. We want to prove that you can forget the rest. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy your weekend. They're not, they're, they're not getting money out of this because I don't think we're allowed to charge for, as per the school, right? But whatever they learn, they can go apply in their real life and go make money on their holidays. Okay guys, so that was a wrap up, end of the week, end of everything, end of school. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. See you on the next one.